Just before sunset, crowds of Palestinians stand in defiance of Israeli troops a few hundred meters away. From their watchtowers, the Israelis track their every move, occasionally sending volleys of tear gas across. But though dozens of young men have been shot dead in the last 10 days of protest, they keep arriving, while families mill about seemingly regardless of the danger. Gaza is our land, Palestine is our land. Sooner or later we shall return back to our lands. They are criminals, we are prophets of, we are prophets of peace. We pray to the peace. On the last two Fridays, these border camps have resembled battlefields. That message of peace hijacked by stone throwers on one side, while the Israelis have injured hundreds with live ammunition to stop what they claim are terrorist attacks. Though the young activist who dreamt up these protests insists he has Mahatma Gandhi or Martin Luther King in mind. Most of the people are committed to being peaceful and non-violent. People here are trapped between two options. Either they die in silence or they shout and raise their voices. Palestinians have decided to bang on the doors of this jail and to raise their voices to the world. The Israelis say that this protest movement is cover for Hamas to launch terror attacks across the Israeli border. But the atmosphere here is overwhelmingly festive and these people say that they will carry on protesting right up until May the 15th, the anniversary of the creation of the State of Israel and the anniversary too of the so-called Nakba or catastrophe, the flight of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from their homes. On Saturday, Nasser Murtaja, clearly marked as a journalist, died after being hit by Israeli fire in the abdomen. The Israelis insist they aim only for the legs to protect the border fence, and they're investigating. At Shifa Hospital, Gaza's biggest, they say they registered 170 Palestinians with live bullet wounds last Friday alone, the majority below the waist, though not all. The Israelis say that they shoot the, le the legs as a last resort and that they don't shoot to kill. Do you accept that? No, 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 no. No, because we received also uh, one child, uh, family Mahdi, 16 years in the abdomen and, and died. And uh, uh, Shabbat in the neck and died. And the other in the head and died. And, and we received also in the uh, lower limb, Tha'ir uh, Raba, and died. Kado McDad is 22 and paralyzed down his left side after being shot in the head. I'm a Shadabi. I'm not a terrorist, he told me. I went just to look, to see what was going on. Mohammed Sersawi is 26. He was shot in both legs and admits he did try to scale the Israeli border fence. We started a fire with car tires. We tried to jump over the border fence and take the Israelis' weapons. The wind changed, so we became exposed and the Israelis shot straight at us. If I can, I will go back again and again to take back our territory. And are you going to carry on protesting yourself every Friday? Of course. I still have four other sons. I will ask them to protest and we will keep going, even if my son is injured and loses his leg. This morning, a coachload of women arrived at the border of what is often described as an open-air prison camp after over a decade of Israel's blockade. Senior Hamas leaders were there too. And though the organizers continue preaching non-violent resistance, more violence seems inevitable after Israel's overwhelming response. Sitting in the home that Israel has bombed four times, Hamas's co-founder told me throwing stones hardly warranted shooting protesters dead. But why don't you tell the protesters to keep it peaceful? We are addressing in public. It should be peaceful. Nothing, nobody uh, was non-peaceful. Non well, there were. There were people throwing things across the border and people, what, what are the people trying to get over what, the fence. What, what are the things? What, what, what do you mean by the thing? The uh, sh shot? No. So what? 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 Well, we throwing know, stones? We, we know they threw stones. Yes. Throw stones. It's, it's, Israelis it's, say they threw fire bombs. Five bombs? Fire bombs. Fire bombs? You saw that? No. So they are liar. They are liar.
last night a pair of newlyweds joined what bills itself as the first peaceful mass freedom campaign in Gaza for 70 years. But as next month's anniversary approaches, tensions on both sides could explode into something very much worse. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Gaza.